Okay, so we're gonna decorate the beanie. Um, like I was just saying on the previous part, I there's not a lot of inspiration online to go by. So I'm just gonna have to kind of go with it and make something up as I go. So I am gonna be using paint pens for this. I want to show y'all, I have three different sets of paint pens and I wanna tell you why. So my first set, I have two, let me see. Okay, I got, there's two different kinds here. One is Craft Smart and one is Moxix paint markers. I want to say the Craft Smart ones came from Michaels and the Moxic ones or whatever, M O X I X, came from Amazon. They are both junk. Save your money. Don't waste your time. You're seriously going to watch me dump them in the trash. They're junk. I hate them. I waited to do that just to give a review on them. They don't last very long. One of them, I only decorated two freshies and it ran out of paint like it just it was ridiculous and then it took me 30 freaking minutes to decorate one freshie and it is because it just slow coming out having to keep pushing it like it just was junk so I found sharpie paint pens on Amazon I will link these below these are amazing good for the money so they have a whole bunch of different colors let me see um, red, green, orange, white, yellow, neon green, light blue, dark blue, gold, brown, black, silver, pink, light purple, dark purple. So it came with a whole pile of them. And even better, it came with big ones of the same color. So I have all, I use the skinny ones mainly. But if I were to run out, I have the big ones right there that I can use too. These are amazing. Now, I'd seen some people in the group saying, oh, they don't dry, they don't dry. Mine dry within a couple hours. I've not had, um, when I paint this one, I, it will probably be an hour, up to two hours before I drill the hole. But it, I have no problem. Um, I drill the hole after just because I like the way it looks better. So if you drill the hole First, then you kind of decorate around it. I like the way it looks when I drill after. I just poke a hole through the paint if I painted that section. So for this one, it has little ridges. I am going to decorate those little ridges and I am probably going to use a pink. If I can find it now. Okay, this pink one. And the reason I'm doing the pink one is because I did go to Michael's and get the Creatology palms and these are big palms. My dog is climbing on the stack of beads, trying to climb up the wall. I'm sitting here watching her. River, get down. Okay. Um, Michael's is a little bit more expensive on supplies. The reason I get a lot of my supplies from there is because it's right down the road. And um, if you are tax exempt, you can tax exempt this because I am sell using it to finish a product to sell. So it's tax exempt. And then I'm a teacher, I'm still certified, so I still have my certification, my license, all of that. Um, so I also get a 15% discount on top of it. So by the time it's all said and done, I really save money by not having to wait for it. Um, I can get it cheaper. And then a lot of times I get like the Michaels reward dollars. So they'll like monthly send me $10 or 15 or whatever I've earned for that month. And so then I go and buy supplies for free with that. And with those, I just found out you don't have to use the all of it at once. So the other day I needed, I don't even remember what it was, something and I needed it now. So I went and it was only like $2, but I used it and they just left the remainder on there. So I like Michaels for a lot of my stuff. I just watch and I try to catch stuff on sale. I always use my teacher discount. And then if it's stuff that is tax exempt, I don't pay tax on it either. So I'm going to switch this down so you can see. All right, so here is this. Now this is going to cover all of that. So I am not going to decorate right up there, but I will right here. So these come out beautifully. So that one set, like I told you, it took me like 30 minutes to decorate one freshie just because it wasn't coming out good and I was having to go back and do two and three coats to try and get the coverage I wanted. These, it takes one coat, 
I timed it the other day and I did two freshies in five minutes. So it only took a couple minutes per freshie and they were the Highland cows. Um, I've not done a video on those yet, but those, there's a lot of decorating on those. And so there's a lot of fine lines. And so the fact that I did two of them in five minutes was impressive. So I love these markers. And I've not personally had any problems with them drying. So it is done. It really did not take but a second. It, I don't know, a minute or two. So I'm going to turn my hot glue gun back on and I am going to t hot glue the palm on and then I will, ooh, I actually may need to drill the hole first on this so I can get the string in before. Okay, let me drill the hole. Okay, it's still a little gummy. It was still just a little warm from the oven. Um, I am doing it this way because I want the hole to be somewhere towards the top. I don't think it will look good being underneath, like further down. And if I am gluing the palm on, it's going to cover that, so I won't be able to glue that. So I just had to think that through. So I'm going to put bunch of glue right here and glue this on just hold it for a second there we go so that is my beanie hat I think it's adorable it's the first one I have done of this so um, I think it turned out super stinking cute I don't know how well it's gonna sell here in Florida we don't have cold days um, the next two weeks are supposed to be in the 60s and 70s and everybody's loving it because it's great. We finally feel like it's fall, but um, I don't know how well these will sell. I think they're adorable, but we'll see. I'll at least offer them for my wholesale customers that are out of state. So hopefully they like them and it's a good seller. All right. I hope you enjoyed the tutorials. Um, please, really quick, I'm not bagging this because it is wet. So when it's done, I will obviously put it in a bag. I'll let it dry for a couple hours first. Um, I'll put it in a bag and post it and all that. But I just wanted to show y'all a couple of the tutorials. Um, it was nothing super hard, but for new freshie makers, it may have been something they hadn't seen yet. But if there's anything else that you want to see, please drop it below. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I really want to be monetized and I'm super close. Um, and go join my Facebook group if you have it. I'm always posting things that I'm adding. I'm always adding new scents um, and new, I have like new beads and new whatever. I'm always posting something new. So go check that out. And sometimes I'll run sales just through my Facebook group. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.